So I'm gonna be teaching you how to make ink. Not just any ink, mop ink. Super easy, super cheap, very affordable. And I'm not saying like super cheap as in like those guys that have hella money to spare and they just spend like a hundred bucks and say that's cheap. No, this is like, I don't even know, maybe a dollar, maybe not. This is literally stuff that you can have around the house. So, obviously you're gonna need your own mop to refill or something, or your own homemade mop. So I'm gonna be covering how to make a mop in a later video. I'm not gonna be covering it in this one. I'm just gonna be showing you how to make ink. First off, you're gonna need some paint. Acry specifically acrylic, because I know that that works. Uh, Water-based, I haven't really tried. And next thing, I know you're all gonna be saying this, like, oh, paint thinner's not cheap, but no. No polish. It's the same thing, it's still acetone. You can get this at like a grocery store for like a dollar, maybe even 50 cents. And then obviously you're gonna need something to like stir it up with. So let me grab that real quick. So first off, so you're probably gonna want like a, I don't know, maybe like a one to one um, ratio of acetone to paint. So you're just going to fill it up like so. Alright. Just like that. So then you're just going to take it, shake it up. Obviously I could have made it in here, but I didn't. And I'll inform you why in a little bit. Once you've got it in here, so I'm not gonna tell you why I didn't put it in here. I know you only waited like two seconds for me to say it, but this, once you make it in here, you have this really, really wide mouth. And it's just like, it's not that great. But with this, you could pretty much just transfer it into any mop through this little hole right there. So it's really, really easy. To transfer. Just gonna shake it up. And then you got your paint. You got your ink. So I don't really know if you can see that very well. But yeah, this stuff is very, very runny now. You could probably make this stuff for like about a dollar. It's more like free, honestly. It's so easy and fast to make. And yeah, it only took me, what, four minutes? Look at that. Uh, so anyways, I would probably recommend putting in like a little marble in here. If you're gonna um, put some foam on here, and you know what? What the hell? I'll, I'll show you how to make a mop in this video, anyways. I mean, I might as well. So, what you're gonna want to do is. So, this is one of my old mops that I made. And so this one was okay until the tip got demolished. Come on, there we go. Focus. 
loose. There we go. As you can see, the tip just got like killed right there. So I'm gonna take the tip out. Don't be dumb like me. Put something down to uh, cover the mess. Cause trust me, you you're gonna make a mess. I'm making a mess right now. So there's no doubt you are. Sorry. So let's put the tip right here. So as you can see, crap. So as you can see, I just used some foam for the tip. So, just use like a little sponge like this. Something that's got some fairly big holes in it. Um, but in this old mop, I had actually used water-based paint. And you literally just take water-based paint, add some more water to it. It's still very, very permanent. There's still... Um, a lot of my old tags that are out, they're actually still up with this paint. So, still works very, very well. This actually used to be a hand sanitizer um, bottle. You can make like a little drip tag. Let's see if I can find any. Like that doesn't look like the best, but I mean, it works when you're in a pinch. Um, but yeah, there's one more way that I found that is actually kind of fun to use. Um, you can actually get to places where you can't reach, you can still do a tag. Almost glue. Literally, you can spray it. Like, pretty far actually to get a nice tag, and it still works very, very well. Um, so, yeah, this is very easy to make. So, let's get into it. First, you can take this actually that we just used. Take it, put your ink in. I'm not gonna put it in because I've got like three mops already. Um, and then you're just gonna take your sponge, put it in. Make sure it's tight but not too tight. Just like that. And then make sure that it will stay when you're drawing. You don't want to constantly pull out of the thing. Um, if it keeps on going in, put some super glue or something around the edge right there. Um, and then it just won't go in anymore. And then you could keep on using it. The only thing about it is that you can't refill it. Unless you like pull the sponge out and take off the um, super glue. But the only thing about it... Uh, with the acetone is that it might eat away at this i'm already feeling this thing get crazy soft from the acetone um like this is almost like i'm look at this i'm barely even touching it it's like that i'm just barely touching it That's what the acetone is doing to this. It's making it crazy malleable. So, after a while, it might eat away at the sponge, and then you might not have a tip anymore. But, with this, I've used the acetone trick, and this thing still works today. And it's still a very, very good mop. So here, let me just show you real quick. Um, let me 
I'll take that. As you can see, very reliable mop, very good. The only thing is, is that sometimes it leaks um, when it's being stored, but it's very, very grippy. Um, so you get that really, really nice, clean grip. Let me just show you that drip right there. That's from the mop. So, yeah, that's how you make a mop and ink. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.